Hey, what's up you guys? It's Zach with PC Bros. And today I'm gonna to show you how to factory reset your PC to make it just like new. Now there's a few reasons you wanna do this. One, your PC might be running a little bit slower than it used to, you have a lot of stuff downloaded, and just want a fresh new start. Another reason would be like if you're trying to sell the PC and need it, everything wiped on it so you can sell it. So this is very easy and very quick to do. You go down to here, on the search and type reset this PC. Then this will pop up. You want to click get started, remove everything, and then do local reinstall. Now I'm not actually gonna do this on this PC, but once you click this and then next, it's gonna go through the process. It takes a little bit of time for the process of restarting it. But once you do, I'm gonna show you the next step on how to download the drivers and everything else back that you need. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut to when I've done this so I can show you if you wanna to continue to keep this PC, how to install the necessary drivers back on your PC and make sure you're not missing any important files. Here's a list of things that I check when I reset a PC. One, is Windows activated still? Number two, are there any missing drivers in Device Manager? And number three, graphics drivers, depending on if my PC has a GPU or not. Type in activation settings to verify that you do have an activated version of Windows on your account. Next, type in Device Manager. So here I have some missing drivers in Device Manager. These can most of the time be fixed by simple Windows updates but if that doesn't do it, Google search the motherboard that you have and the word drivers after. Make sure there are no error messages left on Device Manager. That could lead to some issues in the future, especially on games. So it's good to have a fresh, clean Device Manager free of any error messages. After that, you wanna make sure you have the proper graphics drivers installed on your computer for the GPU that you use. So that's similar to looking up the motherboard drivers. You just wanna look up what GPU you have and the word drivers after. And just make sure you're downloading the most up-to-date driver that you can find. It is also important to make sure all of your Windows updates are done. I know there's a lot of them, but just let it sit there and update all of them. And it shouldn't have to do it for very long. Usually they go pretty quick. And that will even get rid of most of the error messages that you might be seeing. Once that I've finished all of the steps, I like to look through the computer and task manager to make sure all of my parts and specs are how they should be and are performing right. Sometimes resetting the PC can mess these up, so it's good to just double check. I hope this quick little tutorial was helpful. Please don't hesitate to reach out in the comments and ask us any questions or concerns that you might have about resetting your PC. And keep in mind, there's no one doing it once it's done, so make sure you have everything important off. All right, I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe and let us know how else we can help.